Um. I need 4C again, because I'm going to die. so I don't die immediately if this doesn't kill you. Make sure it's crit. Do it! I don't see any reason to pay attention to anything you say. As far as you're, I'm concerned, you're our enemy. I can't say I'm surprised in the least to hear such a reaction. Fear species are often quick to label that which they don't comprehend as threatening. Cause and fear all you like. We'll see how strong you feel once you get an idea of how strong we really are. I think we can do a whole lot better against you than you think. We're going to lose today, and that's final. Fishing blow there. And a bunch of cash. This can't be happening. This isn't right. I lose here to those lowly Terrans. Fools being Garam bring that card into its former glory. Seems like the best gone sound, Commander. There's a sad, certain sad irony to all of this. We, a group desperately trying to save from its demise, took, time, took down a man working to recover from the same thing, all on a planet facing ruin itself. I take no pleasure in any of this fighting. If someone wants to attack Earth or any other planet for their own selfish ends, I'll always stand up and fight. Look, the other guys just blew up simultaneously. They're probably set to self-destruct if their master ever dies, I'd have to imagine. The structure is estimated to impact the city in seconds. Actually, we had two minutes left. I beat them in two, maybe three turns. Prepare to, prepare to fire the wave motion gun immediately. Prepare to fire the wave motion gun immediately. Guy is falling. Really falling. Uh, 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 uh. Dare you get children like her involved in your schemes, Desler? Leave them out of this! This planet doesn't belong with you. You can't just get rid of it and everyone on it when you're tired of it. 
Okay, there, are you sure you should be doing this? We don't have any other choice. The wave motion gun is the only thing that can rip something so huge. I mean, in terms of the actual consequences. Aim for that falling structure. Can't get a lock on it. It's coming in way too fast. Don't worry. Help has arrived. Velocity. It's slowing down dramatically. How is this even possible? With the ELS's help. The feeling I must... They must have sensed what we were feeling and came to give us a hand. They finally understand us. Large ELS is joining in. It appears to be attacking the enemy fortress city at the Lagrange point. Kessler, you've tied the rope around your own neck. You have no one else to blame but yourself for this. Then it Kodai? Now! Yes, sir! Falling structure has been destroyed. We're saved. Are the Yamato of all things? We did it. Valorous is going to be okay. Yeah, wow, we really did it, didn't we? Yeah, I'm glad we did. Citizens aren't here. We're never our actual enemies in all of this. Well, Dessler, what's happened to him? Fortress City seemed to have merged right with that large ELS that was fighting it. And just like that, the Great Gambler's Empire has lost its own emperor. Yeah, but now the fighting has stopped because of it. The one thing left to do. That's right. It's time we go to Iskandar. Commander, what are your orders, sir? Tell all units to return to their return back to their ships. We are indeed going to head over to Iskandar now. Yes, sir. We're finally going to get to Iskandar. It'll be okay, sis. I'm sure of it. But it was Iskandarians who it'll be okay. Really, it will be. All right, nine. If you're sure it's okay, then I am too. I trust you. That's what partners do for each other. Attack points, push this to cash, skill program. Alright, let's piece together everything we know. Well, the war between Gardam and Iskandar took place several thousand years ago, right? That's correct. Then did the Alphors guy somehow keep himself alive that whole time once the fleet fled the galaxy? Maybe. He guess it could have been in cryogenic sleep. Just all really hard to believe. I always thought Viskandar is a genuinely peace-loving society, but now, I don't know. I with Gardim. There shouldn't be images taken back when they were fighting with Viskandar. That's more or less why I, well... couldn't trust Yamato's motives in going there. Grisha, do you have anything you want to say? Not right now. You'll know the truth when we get there. Alright, fair enough. It's a, always a good idea to learn these sorts of things firsthand. That's right, you've already traveled 168,000 light years. You need to see this to the end. I agree, you have to keep going. We can't stop now. So, supposedly before all the fighting, Gardam used to be a civilization that floated in this part of this galaxy. But afterwards, all that remains was the 8th eighth, eighth Fleet. What exactly is the 8th Fleet? The legend known throughout the gal this galaxy that when Gardam was wiped out, there was one fleet that survived. No one actually witnessed the final most, most for Gardam, however. And then, supposedly having flooded the Milky Way galaxy, having nowhere better to go at that point. Now to think about it, I remember my father once telling me that the squadron dispatched to the Milky Way was also trying to investigate the Lost Garden fleet. It probably stands to reason that Destler's forces entered the Milky Way in part as an attempt to ascertain what happened to them, yes. But why would Nine's presence on Earth be a sign that Garden had been there? They were the ones that created her. All that happened is the oceans dried up, 
Reister found some garden remains somewhere and picked up Nine's core system components at that site. Imagine they finished the place a lot while they were conducting research up on the moon. What about Alfors? He didn't seem to be, actually be on Earth proper. Can't entirely, can't be entirely certain when, whether it was before or after the Gamblers attacked the garden, but I guess he was up and left it at some point in time. And then once the Yamato and Nine caught their eye, they decided to come out of the dimensional rift and stalk us. Indeed, it's my understanding that Gardam's interdimensional transference technology is advanced, which, would, which they would have used to swipe away motion engine from the Yamato and complete their whole civilization reconstruction system, most likely. A system to reconstruct an entire civilization again. I can't even imagine what that looks like. It'd probably be possible if they'd been able to figure out Nine's engineering capabilities, though. I'm assuming they also wanted to colonize Earth in the new correct century to make a home, new home planet? Probably would have let them regenerate the environment, too. That's not exactly an ongoing concern anymore now they're out of the picture. Yeah, Gardam's gone for good now, and we're practically in spitting distance of Iskandar, finally. Who names Gardam's reconstruction system anyway? We'll save the Earths in all three dimensions our own way. They're exactly right. We can handle it ourselves, Nine. This... This is all over, back to Earth, we should look into how you created and all that, Nine. And if you're, I mean, only if you're okay with it, obviously. It's your life. I don't want to intrude when I am not wanted. Yes, thank you. Um, if I could say one more thing, sis? Of course, what is it, Nine? I'm glad we met. Thank you for being with me. Oh, of course, Nine. I feel the same. Thanks for being in my own life, too. Nice to see the bond like that. Yeah. They got really close to each other while you were away with Gardeners. I can tell. It's interesting. The more I watch those two, the more I wonder if a bond like theirs is what the Garden was ultimately seeking out. You think so? They never, sure never looked it to me. I look at the Garden, the only thing I had keeping me company were a bunch of androids. Some of them I had, like, guess we call egos, so they could act independently. But none of them were like nine. How much is even more special than she already was? It's probably not entirely innate. Better being exposed to Earthly Tank who helped a lot. Do you think so? Yeah. Just go as far as he has an android because she had you guys to support her every step of the way. Maybe you're right. That's more or less why all fours want to take her back to guard him so badly. Yeah. Alright, you guys. About to finally take off Riskandar, so get into your combat positions. You've got it. End is finally in sight for this trip. Yeah. About damn time. Been a long road. 168,000 light years. It's been a long road, getting from there to here. It's been a long time, but that time is fi that time is finally near. Sorry, not sorry. And we're finally going to cross the finish line. We're almost there, Earth. Just a little longer, and then we'll finally be back on be on this gondola like we promised. And then we're turning around and heading straight back home. We're going to save you. We're so close now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 